Sorted? Yeah. Um, Sean, if we can start with um, the injury update, Stephen DeFore in particular, how close is he? Could he be involved? He's going well. Um, won't be involved yet, uh, but he's getting closer. Um, funny enough, we've got a little uh, in-house game today for him uh, and Robbie Brady. So they'll be playing bits of that. Um, but no, going along nicely now. In full training now for a couple of weeks with the first team. Um, but we've got to remind ourselves, you know, he's still been out a long time, but he is looking very strong and certainly mentally clear as well as physically, um, having spoken to him. So he's, he's in a good place at the moment. And uh, Robbie's not far behind. And, uh, you know, so we look forward to having them both back. How much have you missed Stephen DeFore? He played a fair amount, didn't he, last year, but not been involved since getting injured in January. He adds a little bit of creativity, a bit of spark perhaps in midfield. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the... I think the the squad we've got is is good in all areas when we're on it and when we're performing. Um, but it is fair to say that you want players who um, can add to that group, of course. And and him and Robbie have both added to that group. Um, but it's not. I've said many times, it's not just the uh, performance levels. It's the competitive element, you know. And it's you want a squad that is in-house competitive in order to take the shirt, and then you want that team obviously to perform. Um, so, so I think there's a mixture of uh, reasons that people like Stephen add to your group, and 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 Robbie and others when we when they've been out and we missed them, of course. You, you spoke, I know, about this fog. Um, is it just a mental thing with the with the players in the form at the moment? Well, it's it's a mixture of things. I think. I think the challenges of of what's gone on, and we knew they'd be there. By the way, of course, you know, everyone was reminding us of the the challenges at the beginning of the season. And it has definitely been a challenge. We've, we've never denied that. Um, that mixed with uh, different days of playing, don't forget, you know, Sunday after Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, including the Thursdays in the early part of that spell. Um, so I think there's a number of different things. Uh, but most of all, by the way, never forgetting it's about us. It's about our own performance levels. Don't, don't let me uh, misguide you with that. You know, it's about us performing properly and correctly as we do. And as we look to do, and we certainly haven't in a couple of the games, not all of them, because we've been good in some of the games recently. And um, the score hasn't gone our way, but the performance has. Um, but over time, the performance I've always believed is key. So that's the thing. Get back to performing at the top of our game and consistently as well, both throughout a 95 minutes and on a weekly basis. And that's really where we haven't quite found our feet yet. We've been up and down a little bit during games and you know on a weekly basis. So we've got to correct that, of course. Was it a similar situation? You had that winless run in the middle of last season, didn't you? Was that about performance levels? Slightly different, I think. Um, I think the, the margins are tight anyway, and I thought they were really tight during that period. Um, I remember some of the games, and it was amazing how we didn't win a game, quite frankly. A couple of the performances lately haven't been good enough, and you know that's something we have to correct as a group. Um, there's a couple of ones which have been at least decent, and we haven't killed games off. We've had chances in games, and we all know goals change games, not just the scoreline, the mentality of a game. And we've had chances to kill games off, um, particularly against Southampton and Watford in the early part of the season. And obviously that would have changed all the, the noise. Um, but the game on Sunday, we weren't good enough. Simple as that. And I always try and be fair with my assessment and honest, and uh, we certainly need to correct that. Um, not with uh, physical energy, but with... The, it's not just working hard it's working smart I think you know and that's what we've got to improve on I think working smart in order to get what we want in cricket there's that kind of term isn't there about scoreboard pressure when the batsman about what scoreboard pressure when the batsman and the oh, okay the I don't know anything about cricket but, no, my, but I'll my, join in with you my parallel is, is purely the, the, does it apply in any way when you have pressure from your points total your stats in the league your, you know sitting where you are on the table um, I think it applies um, a reality you know, because the, the interesting thing is that we've, we've kind of gone full circle in a very short sort of time frame when I think most people outside of us thought uh, Burnley, they say, no, they'll be, they'll be strong enough. They proved last thing. They could do this, that and the other. I don't think I was taking it quite as uh, powerfully as that because I know the demands of the Premier League and I know you can have these runs. Um, but to start a season with a run like this is not ideal, of course. So we have to look to correct that. So I think that's more... Um, what I know about it, you know, rather than uh, uh, over concerns, but you've got to be aware of what the situation is and the truth of the situation. So through all of that, we've actually ended up kind of back to underdogs again, you know, because we're, we're bottom of the league and everyone's saying, oh, that hasn't started, right? So now, of course, statistics, et cetera, et cetera, saying, well, where's it going to go from here? So weirdly, we're back to being uh, sort of Burnley what everyone supposes of us 
which is usually every season sort of this underdog who's got to punch him of its way, which we've historically done. And we've got to do that again, of course. You probably won't want to be pointed out, but if you do lose the weekend, it's the worst ever start to a season for the club. I mean, personally, have you felt disappointment at the way this has gone? Well, of course, I, I've, I thought we could do better and I was expecting us to do better. But I can assure you, records don't bother me because if you want to look at the uh, positive records that we've had in the last five years, I, th- I think there's a good chance it'll outweigh that record if that should occur. Um, but no, I, I think I think I don't worry about records and all that. I, I, I concern myself with the team, how it's performing, how the individuals are performing. Uh, is it moving forward? Is it being effective? They're the things we've got to change because um, it's not a lack of effort. But it's it's not been. There's been a couple of performances that are not like us, and I think that's the thing that I've been really looking and speaking to the players about because you've got to have a. I mean, I don't, and I like using some modern, trendy words, but a DNA, if you like. You've got to have a, you've got to have a, a feel of how your group operate, and we certainly have here. Um, and we, we've kind of, you know, we've come away from that. And there's been reminders of it. You know, there's been a couple of very good performances where we should have dealt with uh, the, the opposition, um, for sure. And we haven't. But there's been a couple of spells when I go, no, 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 that's not like us and that's not what we're about. So I think we definitely have to work hard to get back to that as a minimum. And then once we do that, then you're looking at that consistency, as I spoke about during the performance, to go and win games. But it's not easy. It's not easy winning games in the Premier League. I've said so many times about the margins. It's not. I try not to just throw these words around for, you know, uh, just for the sake of it. You know, I've said many times, the margin, not just for us, but there's a number of teams in the Premier League, the margins are super, super tight on which way games are going to go, which way runs are going to go. And we've always been one of them and we've got on the right side of them. So that's what we look to do now. Are you someone who has, you know, sticks to your methods no matter what or have you had to kind of just look at it again and try and do something just to maybe shake the players up, snap them out of this run? No, I think you, you're always trying to do that. I think you're always, I don't think there's, uh, or certainly we don't here, we don't just sit on, you know, what we do and, and say, oh, well, it'll work again. Um, you get different players, you've, you've got to work with them, you've got to tune them into what you do. You've also got to be op- uh, open-minded about what you are doing. Um, you know, is it current? Is it what the players need? Is it uh, something that they're still excited by the challenge, by the work that you do on a daily basis? The balance that is not going too far away because on the other hand, you know, the, the, the obvious balance is we've created a lot of good things here over five and a half years. So we're certainly not going to discount all the good stuff, but it's how many different things and different ideas you can add to the base, as I call it, of how you work. So I think we're more open-minded about the details and what we can add in that respect. And also whilst listening to the players, you know, we want them to, to go out there knowing their jobs, but also adding what they think they can add to the, the performances. There's been a lot of plo- focus <clears throat> around the league at the moment on player fatigue here and other clubs as well. Um, Post World Cup, is it something that you agree with? Is that a, is that a factor in the Premier League this season? Well, I think it's a strange thing. Um, looking from the outside into some of the sort of comments and reports and what people have been saying, I think I'm all right in thinking, was it the last World Cup or certainly maybe in the last Euros, was it not that why are they saying they're tired? I thought mm. that's what we were saying. And then now they're saying they are tired. So I don't know. Somewhere in there is the truth. All I worry about is my players and I don't think they're too tired. I think you know, there's an obvious uh, fatigue element that we've had from travelling as much as anything, and I've stated that. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, fatigue can be, not all of it, can be a mental fatigue, and obviously that's often related or, or uh, tallied up with results. You know, there's not many teams that win the league who look that tired, you know. So there's, there's obviously a, a, a connection there somewhere with a good feeling of winning. But you've got to work hard to make the wins come your way, or certainly in our case. When you've been analysing them player performance <clears throat> and kind of, you know, the stats, the data, the key markers in terms of distance covered and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this season with those Europa League games, has it been comparable to last season? Have you noticed any kind of drop? We've looked at that recently, actually. Um, and like I said, I think as I mentioned earlier in the interview, work smart, not just hard. You know, and against Wolves, we outrun them. Uh, as regards overall coverage, but we didn't out sprint them in possession. We didn't out sprint them out of possession. Or I think that was close out of possession. I think we might have topped them in that book because we didn't have as much of the ball. Um, the thing is, with stats and facts, they're there to be used wisely, I think. And it's difficult sometimes to use them wisely, including for myself, because your eyes don't lie, but then you've got to sometimes turn the TV off, which I do, and watch it when it's, you know, just on a blank screen, uh, uh, not a blank screen, sorry, <laughs> screen with the game on, um, but no sound. 
And that often gives you a more objective view because I, I, I mentioned after, even after Sunday's game, where we simply weren't, weren't anywhere near what we can do. Um, but you watch it in the cold light of day with no emotion, calm, no noise, no sound from the crowd. And, and you're never a million miles away, but you're also far enough away to not get a result. So I think they're the margins that we're looking for, all managers, I think. So add in the stats and the facts, add in the feel, add in the body language, add in what you're seeing, add in the emotional response to what you've just seen literally at halftime and after a game. Usually you compute all that and then see where it's at. Um, the one thing I know for sure is we're not a million miles away from where we should be, but it's not right and it needs correcting. And Bournemouth, by contrast, last year had a pretty similar start to what you're having now, struggling a little bit in the early stages, and they obviously went on to finish 12th. So in that respect, does it kind of lend credence to that attitude of not pressing any panic buttons, continuing to believe in what you're doing? It, it just adds to the fact that it can be done in many different ways, this division. You know, and... Uh, if we'd have had the uh, game the game run that we had sort of mid-season now or at the beginning of any season, then people would have been questioning that. On the other hand, we came out of that one five on the trot. So, you know, there's no perfect way of having a season's work, but it is a season's work. Um, the mentality has to stay firm um, and the physicality has to stay firm, but also the players have to bring what they can. You know, they have to play at the top of their game. And that's how you win football matches. And, and Bournemouth have done brilliant, by the way. They've done brilliant last year. They've done brilliant for the, all the time Eddie's been there. You know, fantastic, I think. Um, and they continue to do so with this good form early in the season and, and you know, good points tally. Um, but that applies to everyone. You know, there's no easy games in the Premier League. And, uh, you know, obviously there's some really tough games. The, the, the superpower clubs, and particularly when you're, you're away at their place, really tough games. For everyone else, they're all difficult games. So we look at everyone and take them seriously. We have to focus and give a bit more detail to ourselves, uh, not from a coaching point of view. I mean, our own players, you know, remind ourselves of the good players that we have, the effective players that we have, and most of all, go and deliver performances. That's for me, the staff and the players. Bro, thanks, Sean. Thank you. Thank you.